Hello my friends and welcome to Tram City 1.0. Trailer time! Tram City 1.0, where every moment of your life is based on trams. Being on time for work, trams got you covered. Going shopping, trams got you covered. Going on a romantic date with your dream partner, trams got you covered. Feeling hungry, tram snacks. Christmas presents for your kids, trams got you covered. Doesn't this sound amazing? Feel the everlasting earthquake of trams making their way throughout the town. No need to own an alarm when you can experience the sound of old brakes echoing in your ribs 4am in the morning. What are you waiting for? Tram City, when tram is life. Alright, once again, hello everyone and welcome to Tram City. As you might have guessed from the intro, this city is entirely based on trams. I started off with a small square in the middle, and this later became the transportation hub where all the switching of trams happened. Also, I do call this the heart of the city and also the CPU, which I will speak more about very soon. After watching the city grow for a while, I fixed the glitches and made a few improvements. Then I went for the expansion. It all landed on about 150k in population, and before I continue any further, I must say that I love the way it looks. It reminds me a lot of a computer, CPU in the middle, and everything else is the motherboard. The tram tracks are then connected to everything. The people in the city is basically like the data or electrons flowing around in a computer. The CPU handles all the number crunching and switching of data, people, trams throughout the city. Guys, just a quick break here in the middle of this. Just want to tell you that as usual the save is in the description available for download. Now back to the video again. So before going any further and covering all the numbers, I just wanted to tell you guys that this is not even its final form. There are some issues with the bandwidth of the CPU or heart of the city. In other words, there needs to be more lanes to transfer all the data or people. So as soon as I'm done with a few other projects, I will design and make the upgraded version of this tram city. With more people, more capacity and best of all, more tram snacks. Now in the end, this city managed to support 150,000 people on average. Around 6,500 commuting by trams every week. Crime rate is hovering around 8% and there are around 400 prisoners in Yale. The education is of course messed up since I used the monuments. The same goes with land value chilling at around 142 per square meter, since I'm running the Eden project as well. Now for the bad parts of this city. As I mentioned earlier, the bandwidth of the transportation hub is a bit small and some of the tram lines are overflowing with waiting citizens. So if the layout could handle it properly, the transportation numbers would be a bit higher. I can't promise that the employment rates would be higher, but I do admit that a bit more micromanagement on the zone ratios would yield a higher employment rate, since for some reason 65% of everyone in the city is unemployed. So either this is iRobot city, or people are really really lazy, or my micromanagement is just a bit messed up here. No, but for real, this has something to do with the death spikes, since the city had to fight them for real. Here are the graphs for the population over time, deaths over time and employment percentages. So it does make sense. However, I do not like it and I will see if I can fix it a bit before launching this video. So moving on, when building this I realized that I have not played around with the trams a lot. So I had to make some changes accordingly throughout the making of this map. Overall, I'm happy with the results, though I really want to remake it on a larger scale, which I will do once the time allows for it. So once again, thanks a lot everyone for watching, I will now roll the time lapses for when I built the city, combined with some music. As always, have a nice day, and I will see you in my next video. If you want to check out a crazy city based on only trains, if you haven't seen it before, then click this little box up in the right. 
it will take you directly to Train City 3.0, which is one of my old cities. Now I promise that's all for this video, like, subscribe and all that, and bye!